हेलो क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स वेव ऑप्टिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस सो द क्वेश्चन इज थ्योरी ऑफ इंटरफेरेंस व्हेन वेव्स एमिटेड बाय कोहरेंट सोर्सेस आर गिवन बाय वाई वन इक्वल टू ए साइन ओमेगा टी वाई टू इक्वल टू ए साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव दीज आर टू कोहरेंट वेव्स ए एम्पलीट्यूड इज सेम ओमेगा एक्चुअली फ्रीक्वेंसी इज सेम सो फ्रीक्वेंसी इज रिलेटेड टू ओमेगा वी नो दैट ओमेगा इक्वल टू टू फाइव न्यू so uh, omega is also same and phase difference is constant so uh, this is meeting the requirement of uh, two sources to be called coherent sources and similarly here so uh, in these two ways uh, in the exam question can be asked in terms of sign in terms of cos so well if you are uh, good in uh, trigonometry then there is no problem but uh, if not then this video is going to be very helpful for you so when uh, both waves superimpose then the resultant by their superposition when they superimpose all right so uh, now a sin omega t plus a sin omega t plus phi uh, we can take a common and here we have sin uh, because of some purpose i am writing this in front plus sin omega t now uh, there is a trigonometric identity uh, which is sin some angle c plus sin some angle d is equal to twice of sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 now we will put it here and it will be a into 2 sin add both of them divide by 2 so it will be 2 omega t plus phi by 2 and cos subtract both of them it will be phi by 2 now entire this term leave this term this is a variable term entire remaining term is a constant term 2 a cos phi by 2 sin 2 omega t plus phi by 2 so this is what the final equation for y we are not interested in this equation but in its amplitude because we know that intensity of this resultant wave or any wave is uh, directly proportional to amplitude square so some constant k into amplitude square so it will be then uh, k into this is the amplitude this this entire term i am using this dotted bracket so uh, that is amplitude so it will be for i'm skipping one of the step so i'm just going into the main result so this is how it is and uh, k uh, into a square we can replace it with some maximum intensity this is i so we can replace it with some maximum intensity uh, which can be 4 as usual i not uh, in fact we can include this uh, entire term Uh, this four into this i not also, but this k a square is analogous with this intensity to equal to k into amplitude square. So this relates to individual waves. Intensity related to this one, intensity related to this one. So that will be now four times and uh, cos square phi by two. I'm not proceeding anymore. Just doing this thing again. Uh, so for for um, wave following this cos rule, uh, again we will follow the same pattern y one plus y two. and uh, this is a sin omega t plus oh sorry cos omega t this time and uh, plus uh, in fact i am ah okay uh, a cos omega t plus phi and uh, purposely i am writing it in front so it will be cos omega t plus phi plus cos omega t and uh, now Uh, okay once again uh, same kind of uh, expression same kind of identity so first i will write that identity that is uh, cos a plus cos b here i used c and d so just uh, go away from some these kind of a's and b's but this time it happened here uh, so anyway uh, um, we'll focus upon the nature of this uh, expression this identity so it will be cos a plus b by 2 and cos a minus b by 2 so uh, 
those students who are not uh, that good uh, in uh, this trigonometry. Uh, so keep this thing in your mind that uh, both will have that negative term, uh, subtraction of uh, both the angles and divided by two. So one is uh, for sine, the main term will be in sine and uh, here main term will be in cross. So you can keep this thing in your mind or uh, you can just memorize this formula by comparing both of them. So sine c plus d is sine c plus d by two, sine c minus d. In fact, I have to write it this way so you can compare it easily. I think it is much easier now. So means sine c minus d is in both, both the expression and which is important here. So now next term, it will be um, a into two cos, add both of them, omega t plus, omega t, omega t, there will be two omega t plus phi by two, and then subtract both of them, it will be cos phi by two. Subtract both of them, omega t, omega t will get canceled, you will get this. And once again, this term, this term, and this term is a constant term, so it will form its amplitude, two a, cos phi by 2 and cos 2 omega t plus phi by 2 and now same thing intensity will become k into amplitude square and then once again we will come to this conclusion so uh, if they give you the equations in terms of uh, psi then you have to know about this sine c plus d and if they give it in the form of cos you will follow this but result will be the same from here onward because we are interested in amplitude only so result is same intensity intensity term is same and uh, a later section will be common for both the derivations um, so actually we are interested in to design something uh, by which we can get that when will we get maximum intensity and when will we get minimum intensity so here uh, this intensity depends upon this phi so for so uh, all right uh, this is now this line doesn't matter now uh, it is the classification for this part for maximum intensity for minimum intensity so for maximum intensity um, cos square phi by 2 is 1 that is cos phi by 2 will take root of it that will be plus minus 1 both plus and minus will come because uh, when we take root, uh, both sign comes. And uh, therefore, uh, it is possible cos phi by 2. Actually, it is possible when phi by 2 is 0, pi, 2 pi, and so on. Why is it so? You know, cos graph, it is like this. At 0 degree, at 90 degree, 90 means phi by 2. At 180 degree, which is pi. At 270 degree, 3 pi by 2, at 360, 2 pi, and so on. So, when angle is these, then phi equal to 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, and so on. Or we can say phi is for maximum, for constructive interference. Maximum is also called constructive interference. So, it is 2n pi, where n is 0, 1, 2, and also so on. For minimum intensity, cos square phi by 2 is equal to 0 that is cos phi by 2 equal to 0 it means phi by 2 is equal to 90 that is phi by 2 270 3 pi by 2 and i haven't written it here but we can predict it is like this so phi is odd multiple and to express odd multiple we can write 2n minus 1 purposely i am writing minus 1 um, why not I am writing here plus 1, that is a different story. So when we are going to study diffraction, then it, uh, you will come to know about it. Uh, not a big issue, but uh, just in order to avoid confusions. Alright, there is a relation between phase difference and path difference. So here is the relation. Phi by 2 pi equal to delta x, where delta x is path difference between the waves upon lambda. So this, uh, this delta x will be equal to pi lambda by 2 pi. Now, once again, uh, for constructive interference, phi, in the place of phi, 2 n pi will be put, and lambda, 
so it will be n lambda and for destructive interference here i have to mention destructive interference these are scripts helps us to you know while recalling it uh, we will not get confused so it is 2 n minus 1 pi lambda by 2 pi lambda lambda will get cancelled 2 will uh, okay oh, sorry sorry uh, pi pi will get cancelled lambda will remain there and we will divide this expression with 2 then we will get n minus half actually i haven't cut it it is looking like that i haven't so delta x destructive interference the summary is if we want maximum intensity and minimum intensity maximum intensity is constructive interference for that pi is 2 n pi and constructive interference memorize these these uh, directly can be asked uh, in the one mark question or mpqs so it is and yeah of course we can derive it also